Today in this video we want to show you how to set up the DirecTV slimline on the 2 inch post that we have. This is the 2 inch OD post. It has the built in levels on it. The first thing we'll do is to replace the nuts that come with the, the dish. These are uh, 9 sixteenths, 18 turns to the inch nuts and we'll replace them with nylon wing nuts. Now this is not necessary for everybody. This is an option. We pr furnish you with six wing nuts. They're to replace the three on the skew or tilt and three on the elevation. So you can use them or not use them. Today we're going to use the wing nuts. The next thing we want to do is set the elevation. We do this by loosening up the three wing uh, three nuts associated with the elevation. I usually modify it and at this location we want 31 so we've got 30 and the next mark is 31. Right there. Tighten up the wing nuts. Now we want to go ahead and we'll change this over. So we want the skew to be 108 for this location. There's 110 one, now we're about on 106, so we'll move this just a hair bit to, there's 110, the next mark back would be 108. Want to make certain that that's square on the dish. Tighten down the three wing nuts. Now we want to go ahead and put the post onto the stand. You want to loosen this as much as possible. And you might even have to stretch this with a uh, big screwdriver. We want the stand to be there. I usually spray it with some dry lube, and this will help. Uh, if you don't have dry lube, PAM will also work. All of this makes it go in there just a lot easier. Okay, we want this to be able to turn loosely on it. We're wanting this clip here to be towards the LMBs. So now we've got that in there. The next thing we'll do is set up the dish into the stand. What we want to do now is calibrate the azimuth setting. We have a nice big ring on here. If you've got any questions about how the stand works, go to the detail parts on the OD model, 2 inch OD model, and that will explain the detail parts to you. But we've got the stand set up. We do not use the, ele the elevation or the extension because the extension uh, gets it too high. We don't want to use this very often. We want to keep this as low center of gravity as possible. The only time we use the extension is when we have the high wind kit attached or we have to get over a fence or a bush right in front of us. We try not to do that very often. Now we want to go ahead and set the azimuth and calibrate it. So the first thing we want to do is set the azimuth up. We have our stand, loosen this knob up, make sure it's sitting on what we want the azimuth to be, which is 134 in this case. So we've set there, we've got the compass on here set to north, and we're exactly where we want to be. Let's see, make sure, and that's it. So now also to adjust this, if you want to, you can put a half inch socket on a breaker bar and that socket, half inch or three, 13 millimeters, will let you fine tune in one, two, three, four. So we're right there, we'll lock that down. We've got the stand with its legs, two 10 pound dumbbells on it. We wanna make certain that we're level. So we wanna go ahead, there's a level here, and a level over here. We want both of those within the level marks. There we go. There, now it's within the marks. This one here is now within the marks. We snug down the top hex nuts to make sure that the stand's legs are firm. And we're ready to call our partner in the house and see if we can't get a signal here. So we've got everything set. We're aimed out here. We're close to being right. 
we will probably just a hair bit off. I would guess about right there, but we'll see. We've got this set up, we're north. I will call my wife now that who's in the house. Before I call my wife up and get everything uh, checked out again, what I like to show you now is this level here in the back. This is the important level because if it's right there in the center, then that means that the tilt is correct because we've got that set here and we're going to be lining up with the satellites. Even if in this case we've got five satellites, the Slimline 3 and the SWIM 3, they have three satellites. When you have multiple satellites, the tilt and the level here being right in the center is very important and that means everything will line up correctly. Now we're going to move over. Here's the side shot of the same thing. And in this case, as we calibrated it, we started with it right in the center and it is in the center. We will every now and then, depending on your location, have to lower the back legs or raise the back legs to do it on the legs because it's a little bit easier and a finer tune. We'll make sure that we have the compass sitting on north. And it's right there. And it's sitting on north. Everything is set up. Now I have my wife on the phone. So what we'll do now is move this on the post. We've got it good and loose. It's lubricated. And we're just going to move it until we get a signal. 85. Okay, we've got 85. 79, 77. Okay, so we need to go back a little bit. 69, 90, 86. Okay, so now we're at what? 86? 86. Now? 73, 80. 83, 90. Okay, we're at 90. All right, that, that seems to be right it. So now we'll just tighten down the, the nuts on here. Okay, what do we have now? 89? Correct. Okay. Now? 89. Okay. So let's check to see what we got on the other satellites. 110 is 96. Okay. 119 is 93. Okay. Seventy nine, okay. One oh three is eighty. Okay. And one oh three is seventy seven. Okay, the other one oh three. All right. Okay, so this is all good. All of the signals are coming in nicely. If we uh, later when we go to use it we don't have to do this again, we just aim at what the setting is. We may have to adjust it four or five degrees either way. Uh, if there's a lot of mag uh, iron in the ground and stuff that throws the compasses off, you could be up 10 degrees either way. But this is a simple way. This will set up and it'll work and it'll work very good for you. Uh, we thank you for watching this. Uh, if you do have the other slim lines, which could be the swim with the 3 LMB or the 3 LMB regular, or the swim with 5 LMB, all of them set up and calibrate the same way. So we thank you for your interest, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a good day.